Hey, hey, it's Michelle, the multitasking mom, and we are doing a lunch and learn again. I am making a lean uh, vanilla smoothie. Um, I already have my two scoops of lean. I have two scoops of collagen to help me with my skin. And then I have, um, I'm using this mango energy boost. It has yerba mate in it, which is a um, used for tea. It is um, a nat it's different than the tea plant. It's a different plant, but it also has natural caffeine in it. Um, and then on here you'll see it says sweetened by monk fruit. And I was like, what is monk fruit? Reached out to my health coach and she's like, dude, it's a national sweetener. Um, I use it when I bake and it's amazing. So I want to share with you why. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this video going. And um, I took my little notes and so the benefits of monk fruit sugar are that it reduces calories because it's metabolized differently. So your body doesn't take in as many calories. So this one that I have here happens to be a um, monk fruit mix. It's an all natural. I found it at Walmart. I wanted to get one um, that I could find at Walmart uh, to show you guys. But the next one I'll be getting will just be the monk fruit. Um, and it's, uh, you'll see maybe if my light's not too bright. That's a zero calories, right? So when you're adding this, it's no, you're not adding any calories to your food. So um, it doesn't affect your blood sugar. It helps inflammation. It doesn't cause cavities. This is great to know when you're baking for your kiddos or when you're adding sugar to anything that they might use um, and you only need a little bit. So you can actually start by um, kind of testing out to see and you can start with a one third ratio. So if it said one cup of sugar, you would use a third of a cup of the monk fruit. Now this one, because it's not just monk fruit, it says that the ratios stay the same. So if you, you know, if you were to use a cup of sugar, then you would use a cup of this, but um, just make sure you're checking uh, your label. If it's all monk fruit, then you can just try by starting with a third of it. And then if you like that ratio, stick with it. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, all good things, right? All good things. And so I am going to, uh, leave you for now with that. This is going to be a mango energy smoothie. And what I'm doing is this one's already pre-sweetened, right? But I've had it before and I could use just a touch more sweetener. And so in the past I've used beet powder, but we'll talk about beet powder on another video. And so today I'm going to try um, this one that I got from Walmart with monk fruit in it to add just a little bit of extra sweetener. I'm only going to start with a, ha um, a half a tablespoon. Um, it says that the serving size is two tablespoons, two teaspoons, I'm sorry. And um, a half a tablespoon is a teaspoon and a half. So I'm going to start with just a little bit less than this and see if I even need that much. And I might have to bring it back down since this one's got some pre-sweetener in it. But anyways, thanks for joining me. Again, this is a vanilla mango um, smoothie and uh, with just a little bit of extra sweetener that's all natural. And I'm going to do one more video. It's a little bit shorter that I can share. And then... Um, I'm going to have my lunch.